Welcome back everyone, Nemesis here, and in this video, I'm just going to be playing some P.E.K.K.A. because I haven't really been playing P.E.K.K.A. a lot on this channel and stuff like that, like I just haven't made P.E.K.K.A. content in a while, so I figured I'd just like kind of play it again, um, and this guy's getting so aggressive, like right off the bat bro, that's crazy. This might be Lava Hound. Oh, he's got a knight, okay, um, <laughs> I don't really know what deck this is now. He's got arrows, he basically has no elixir and a terrible cycle, so that's why I play this bandit super aggressively. And, um, he's going for skeleton dragons. He's given the good luck because he probably thought that I just got lucky right there because I just basically took over half his tower, but I mean, he just played bad, so, you know, it's not my fault. <laughs> um, right here I could just go for a battle ram as well because I have some free archers on the map. He's got a Mortar. Okay, so he's playing Mortar. Alright, um... Uh, makes a lot more sense now, to be honest. And, yeah. Right here, I could just go for a Royal Ghost. Everything should be good to go. And he's more likely than not going to play a Knight for this. So, yeah. There's the Knight right there. Um... So, let's see. I think the play right here is... Probably just to go for an E-Wiz in the back right here and maybe get like a counter push. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see here. So, alright, he's going for a Miner in the back. That's a smart play. Right here, I could just go for a Bandit in the back. So, yeah. Alright, he's going for Skeleton Dragons again. I think right here I have to poison this because like, I don't know. It's just kind of awkward to defend against Skeleton Dragons to be honest. So, yeah, that's why I always like poison them for the most part. I'm gonna go for archers in the back here. He's going for a mortar. I could just like go for a battle ram and I'm gonna go for a ghost in front. Just for the guards. Perfect. Alright, he's going for a knight. Right here I could just go for a P.E.K.K.A. right on top. This is perfect. So um I think right here I'm going to take a zap on the minion horde very shortly right now. So um I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm also going to play my evolved archers right here for the skeleton dragons. So Alright, he's going for arrows. I'm just going to go for my Battle Ram plus Bandit. I think it's pretty important to take advantage of your Evolved Archers as much as you can get. But not in a way where you're starting to overcommit for them. But yeah, um, I'm going to go for a Ghost right here. And I think I'm just going to go for a Peck in the back. Exactly, because I knew he had to Knight. Um, he only had like Knight in his hand pretty much for like the Ghost. So it's kind of just like playing a, you know, a Pekka beforehand. He's giving me really good poison value, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to take that. I think right here I could just go for a battle ram right here, plus a bandit on the right hand lane for some extra pressure. So, he's going for a knight plus a minion horde, I'll just take a zap right there for the minion horde. Very, very nice right there. And kind of see what he wants to do. I'm going to go for a ghost. Um, bro, what is this guy doing? Um... Bro, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, that was so terrible. <laughs> this guy's so bad, dude. Why did he just like play all his elixir at the bridge like that? It makes no sense, dude. Um, yeah, I don't even know why he's emoting. Like, I don't understand. I'm just gonna BM this guy. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, that's game. So let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here's the next match against Miru. I think that's how you pronounce that. So... Alright, he's going for a Knight in the back. I could just go for my Battle Ram in the back. And kind of see what he wants to do here. So, he's going for Electro Dragon. I could just split my Archers. This might be like Elixir Golem or something, potentially. So, yeah, just gotta be a little careful because it can get really annoying because I have Poison and he could just like heal everything through the Poison with the Healer. He's got a Pump, so I'll just take a Poison right there. Just to kind of get it out the way for the time being because I don't like Elixir Pump. I'm also going to try and get the King Activation right here, because I think it's really important. So, yeah, I'll just take that real quick. And yeah, so, he's going for Skeleton Dragons. Um, wait, is this like the regular Golem deck with the healer in it? Because I know there's a regular Golem deck with Battle Healer, and it has like Skeleton Dragons too. So, yeah, it might not be Elixir Golem, I think it's regular Golem. I don't know how to really feel about that, to be honest. I mean, I think it's still pretty difficult. So, yeah, there's the battle healer right there. Um, so yeah, let me see here. I think I just have to go for, like, a royal ghost for the healer. He's going for a pump. I'll just stick a poison yet again. 
and I'm going to have like a healer on the counter push. Not the healer. I'm going to have a ghost on the counter push, so he might have to like expend a bit more elixir. So yeah, I think right here I'm also just going to like take a zap on. Yeah, he's going for a tornado. That's totally fine. I mean, good play on his end. Not gonna lie, because obviously getting the king activation, like when playing against Pekka, is really good. So I'll go for a Pekka in the back. At least he doesn't have Tornado for the time being for like my Evolved Archers, so I guess that's a plus. But yeah, this push is going to be really annoying to defend because of the Battle Healer. It's like really, really annoying. So I'm just going to go for Archers in the back right here. He's going for Skeleton Dragons. I can go for my Ghost plus Poison, but I think, yeah, just like that. He's just going to heal everything up. That's what I'm talking to you guys about in terms of like the Battle Healer being extremely annoying. So... Um, I think right here, I'm just going to go for a Battle Ram immediately, plus a Bandit, because I don't want him to pump up. Like, I want to make sure I keep enough pressure so he doesn't get the chance to pump, because I didn't have Poison at the time. So, like, I wanted to cycle back to a Poison, but now I do have my Poison back, so I can just Poison the pump now. Uh, let's see. I could just go for some Archers right here. I want to make sure that Knight actually connects to the Tower instead of the Archers, because I want more of a threatening attack. Oh, whoa, that was a bad, um, that was like a bad golem, wasn't it? Um, uh, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, maybe it wasn't a bad golem. I think right here I have to, like, poison this. This is gonna get really sketchy. Yeah, he's just pulling that into the tower. Um, I have to e whiz this as well. Yikes, dude, that was uh, a little sketchy, dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's going for E-Drag. I think I'm just going to spam him opposite lane now because his E-Drag is his best answer towards like all my spammy stuff. I'm going to go for Archers. He's going for a defensive pump. Uh, I'll just go for a Bandit as well, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't... I'm going to have to like zap this, aren't I? Yeah. Hmm. This is a little messed up, bro. I'm going to try one last effort. I'm going to go for a Ghost plus Batteram. Um... Okay, wait, hold on. Yo, he has no elixir right now. He has no elixir. Dude, that was like beautiful, bro. Perfect. Let's go for the next match. Here's the next match. And um, let's see here. So he's going for a knight in the back. I could just go for my peck in the back. Kind of just hoping he doesn't have anything that like punishes me. He's so, oh, okay. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to go for my bandit. I just made sure the expo actually locked onto my tower instead, so that was like purposely played, like where the expo went on my tower instead of the bandit because he would be able to defend it and stuff like that. I'm gonna go for a battle ram right here, just to kind of like keep him at low elixir, I guess. But you know he's got the Tesla to bail him out. I'm gonna go for Zap for the skeletons and hopefully, okay, yeah, yeah, this push is going nowhere. So um, really bad start, not gonna lie to you. You know, I was kind of like banking on the fact that he could have been like minor poison or something so that Pekka in the back, like Pekka first play would have actually, or yeah, actually been pretty good. But unfortunately, it wasn't. So um, it is what it is. I'm going to go for a ghost in the back. He's going for a log. Totally fine. I think, so the name of the game in this matchup is like, you want to have like a troop in one lane and then you want to P.E.K.K.A like kind of down low but not behind the princess tower pretty much. You want to build like some big pushes here. Because if I just like spam him continuously without a P.E.K.K.A on the map, he just defends all the time. So eventually one point or another I have to play P.E.K.K.A.s even if he doesn't expo. So like yeah it's going to get a little tricky but it's got to be done right because that's the best way to win the matchup so. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go for a bandit right here for the knight. Kind of just play a little bit passively at the moment. Kind of see what he wants to do. Pretty interesting expo. I don't really agree with that because I have a free bandit on the map. So it doesn't really make too much sense in my opinion. He's going for evolved archers. Um, that's totally fine here. I'm gonna wait for those archers to kind of like push a little bit more forward on the map before like I ghost on them. I'm gonna go for archers right here. I'm gonna go for a ghost now because they're on my side so we couldn't protect them with like a knight and stuff like that. I'm going to go for a battle ram right here, just to apply a little bit of pressure. He's going for a log, plus a tesla. I'm going to protect this evolved archer with my bandit. So, okay, this guy's getting a little aggressive with that, not going to lie. I'm just going to split my archers yet again. He's going for a log. 
I'm gonna go for a P.E.K.K.A now because I have one Archer on the right hand lane, so... Okay, he's going for a Fireball. I'm gonna go for a Battle Ram right here. He's gonna split his Archers, good play on his end. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for my E-Wiz, I'm gonna go for my Bandit as well, I'm gonna go for a Zap. Which got absolutely no value, <laughs> so... Um, oh wow, okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, I'll just go for my Ghost right here. Okay, interesting Expo. I'll just go for my P.E.K.K.A. I'm gonna go for my Archers for the Expo. I'm gonna go for my Batteram because I think he's kind of low on Elixir. Um, so... Oh, I thought he messed... I thought he messed that up. But he did not. So that's kind of unfortunate. Oh! Oh, oh! Yo, that's good. That's good to see. Okay, I'm back in the game. I'm back in the game. So, uh, this is looking really good again, not gonna lie. Well, I wouldn't say really good because he still has a good matchup. Okay, that's really good poison value, so I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna go for my bandit right here. Um, good try on that one. I kind of knew he was gonna do that play. So, I'm gonna go for archers right here. This actually might just be game, but that's exactly what I'm talking to you guys about. That's pretty much how you play the matchup. I don't see how this guy's going to come back anymore. So, um, super, super nice, dude. Yeah, he gave up. Uh, so, yeah, uh, not much to say. That's going to go ahead and be the end of this video, though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more next time.